haven't been on here for a while. Felt a little bit lost, a little bit trapped, a little bit stuck, like I was in a hole or in a cupboard or in somewhere with no light, like I couldn't see, like I couldn't think, like I couldn't breathe. Hi guys, my eyes are a little bit bloodshot, not because I've been crying or nothing, no, I've been straining to get fitter and healthier in the body and in the mind. Sunday morning, just going to get the papers for the Sunday show. Um, and there's a distinctly different air out there. A distinctly different, all the signs, weirdly, are back on all the local news agents and all the shops saying no more than two people, reiterating the masks. I mean, I know masks have to be worn, but a lot of the local shops haven't been enacting that or have been a bit sort of, you know, loose at the edges on that. So there seems to be a more sort of uh, doubling down on those more incidental kind of details and the feeling out here is i mean it's early it's about 8 30 but uh the feeling when you look at people there's just a sort of residual kind of and i must admit that's how i feel i mean all the news flow today is talking about ten thousand pound fines and boris johnson feeling under the weather and sort of down in the dumps and could he be losing interest in the post we're going to talk about that on coffee moaning this morning um but it's weird because yesterday we saw Izzy. We had the loveliest, I mean, the loveliest, loveliest day. It was so nice catching up. Um, it was just joyful. Um, really, really nice. And, um, you know, Kiki wasn't there. So, uh, you know, we could meet Izzy's boyfriend, which meant we could still be within the rule of six. Um, I mean, isn't it ludicrous? You have to sort of, you almost have to actively ship members of your family out so that you can hit the number six. Um, so that was lovely. Uh, he, yeah, what a lovely guy. Oh my God. Two, I've met, I, I've sort of getting to know my daughter's boyfriends and they're lovely. And as a dad, that's just wonderful. Uh, kind guys, intelligent, thoughtful guys. Um, what more can you hope for? I, I mean, it's almost like sometimes I said to Nadia, when you get that sort of sense of satisfaction or completion in an area of your child's life, the kind of dad I am, I'm not interested. I mean, obviously I'm interested in being in their lives and being of service to them and all that kind of stuff. But I almost would be happy to just kind of fade back, fade back and fade away because I feel like I've kind of got them to where they need to be. And they're with someone that they're happy with, where they're who they're equal to who isn't some smart ass trying to control them or, 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 you know, just be weird. Just nice, just nice. It was just, it was a lovely day, full of laughter, full of really intelligent, stimulating, thought-provoking chat. We wish you'd been there, guys, actually, because there was just so much interesting stuff. Um, anyway, Sunday morning, I'm heading back. We're gonna go and do the papers. Oh, look, it's Nanny Die. How are you, Mum? I'm a bit up and down. What are you up to today? I'm just going to chill today. You're going to chill? You're going to sit there and have some breakfast? I am. Aww. He's treating me like a 102 year old lady. Well, that's nice. It's it's very most nice. people it's would kill nice. and, and remove their limbs it to is. have a place they could sit. And when sit. I went to bed last night, Nadia had done all my bed for me beautifully, Aww. like all soft and beautifully. Aww. And you had your guardian on your bed? I thought it was absolutely perfect. It was like being in the top, top, top hotel. And you'd been fed beautiful food? Fed beautiful food. Brilliant scintillating company? Brilliant scintillating company. Grand Granddaughters with fabulous partners. Granddaughters with fabulous partners. I'm already even getting thinking about a hat. A hat? The you wedding? know what that means, guys? A wedding. <gasps> Don't Whoa. go there. I know. Morning, guys. Sunday morning. Honestly, Sunday I think is one of our busiest days. I've just been saying to Mark, I think we should make Monday Sunday because we don't have Sunday. Sunday is like your Monday. Um, so, oh God, I'm just really trying at the moment to stay positive. We had to, we've done the coffee moaning this morning and then we've done, uh, we've just done the newspapers for the Sunday show and it's so overwhelming, the bad news, but I am more than ever just having to say to myself, stay in the minute, stay in the minute, actually think about what we're looking ahead at. Don't you feel, Mark? Yeah. It's just... It's just so 
effing hard. And, but I am just saying to myself again today, how blessed I am. I, I'm thinking of people, and I know there's many of you that out there that follow us, that live on your own and don't have somebody to talk to about this stuff as it comes up. I can't imagine how difficult it must be to be in an echo chamber with this stuff going round and round. So rest assured, if we go into another lockdown, whatever happens, we will. If we go into a lockdown, we'll do our night shifts again because um, you can just feel people's anxiety is just rising. You can just feel it. Look, even Toffee over there. Let me turn you around and show Toffee. Let me show you Toffee, hang on. She is uh, herself checking out of the current climate. She's had it. Look, she's just had it. <laughs> you fed up too? Toffs, feeling anxious. Oh, why? Just with everything. Yeah. I think she really feels like. Here we go again. Where's that? Yeah. yeah. What can I look for? I mean, it's hard, isn't it? Everyone's no, different holidays, age group. No. What does yeah. one look forward to? And so hard. So hard. <sighs> Staying free. I mean, I had the other day, didn't I? That real fidgety urge to do something, just anything cultural. I wanted to be yeah. in a busy restaurant, I wanted to be in a pub, I just wanted to be around people, yeah. Yeah. just being normal. Even the most, the people I know that are the most sort of strict about everything are just wanting to break free yeah. now, they just yeah. had it. And I worry what that, how that will spill out. I think that's why there's so many yeah. more, much road rage and people getting angry because it's just, it's, everyone's got this pent up energy. Your t-shirt's really nice though. I oh, love that t-shirt. I think I bought you that. Did you? Silver and the blue yeah. is so Gorgeous good. Enough, yeah. with mine. Oh my God, Dina. Look. No. Cabernet That's Sauvignon. not a thing. Yeah, it's half of our grapes. You've grown them. Yeah. Well, can we eat them though? Yeah, you can eat them. Can you? Yeah, have one. But aren't they really, really sour? No. I can't actually believe that. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Wow. And we did nothing. To so them. stunning. Organic grapes. They are stunning. Yeah. They've got seeds, but you can chew them. Yeah. Look at that, Dad. What, what do you chew? think? One, I want you to come and have a look. I started the uh, what is Turkish the, garden. The, the corner, what would you call it? It's the Hubble Bubble Corner. Come on then, show so, me. Have you seen the Hubble Bubble? Look. Oh my God. <laughs> Where did you get that? Judy gave it to him for his birthday. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, talking of that, I've got your birthday present next door. Oh. It's arrived, the heater. Oh, oh good, good. good. Just in time. So I want you to see if it works on your but, on but, your umbrella. I've got them on umbrella oh, heater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it doesn't, I because I'm going to get one for me if it works, if it doesn't. I've created a corner, uh, oriental, also a Greek. Greek Turkish. corner. Oh, that's corner. all fun. Uh, where we can have Abu Bubble and play picture uh, with a new bike. Oh, Hubble Bubble Corn! Oh my god, it's so cute! Yeah, and that's the new. Oh my bike. god, did Dina do that? Yeah. What does it say? Say uh, to the garden. <laughs> Is that what it says? Yeah. In the Arabic to the gods. Oh my yes. god, it's so Arabic lovely. Arabic, we're going to carry on with it. And that's going to be all. Oh, it really yeah, does feel like a broad, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dad! That's so cute! And uh, with the table, the track, you see, the cheese already made. And where's the Arab? The Turkish Arab. That would be in the I'll Arab. be over here with the Arab. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's yeah. so cute, isn't it? Lovely, isn't it? In the evening. So what's this? 
Yeah. You need to paint that white. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell that finish. No? And the process has been done. It looks really good. Yeah. It will be. So you're going to have grapes coming over the top? No, yeah, we're going to put, uh, you know. An arch. An arch, yeah. Oh, it's lovely. And the vine will, put, will, uh, will go over it. And the trick track will be. Wow. You know what? You could get a heater to go above there as well. Uh, oh, yes. You could get a heater to go above there. Yeah. But they just there's a big article in the papers today about how everybody's got to prepare for outdoor living now in the winter. Yeah. 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 Well I and fires I'm a, and I'm a hit. With your little tea. Tree. Oh, I love it. it. Isn't, Isn't she? It's Dina, it's gorgeous. The thing that cuts the onions. Mm. Oh my god, it's tipping here again. I cleared this up. Oh, Can I do? Ah! Oh! Hello, everybody. I'm just making a dish very close to my heart. Move! Oh! <laughs> Are you alright? Trying to keep filming. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dean. 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 Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you absolute idiot. You know there's a step there. Anyway. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Sweetie. So we're now in the park. We just needed a little bit of ah uh, from waiting around all day. You're just your adrenaline just builds, doesn't it? All morning, Mark. We just be like we're on the rain, we're on the rain, we're on the rain. <laughs> we we make it look easy, but it doesn't feel easy sometimes. But of course, Lorraine always just puts you so at your ease, doesn't she? Just hold her a second so I don't drop my phone. Is that little thing Scottish torn? Um. Yeah. So we've got a busy old day today, again. Haven't we? We've got to do the podcast when we get back. We're going to do it on, yeah, we're going to do it on um, how we're going to, how the hell we're going to help um, teens through the next lockdown. Because whatever they say, it does feel like another lockdown. It does. And both Maddie and Carlitos have uh, recorded something. I can't wait to hear what they well, say. I think it's the fact that we're all slightly <laughs> worried that they're going to do the non into household movement. Yeah, that's the fear. <laughs> And then we're doing a How to Stay Married. And can we cook one dish for the Sunday show, yeah. please? We'd really like to get one cook. out of the way. And, oh, and we're doing live cook tonight. My God, it's <laughs> Maddie Sawala off the telly is over there. 
not on the telly. Say hello. Bye. Um, I wished Joe Wicks happy birthday yesterday and he sent me a message back saying, thanks, Mark. Um, that's my boyfriend sorted. Check, tick that box. So I'm now gonna do my workout. Check. I've also got a nice cup of tea. Made by my wife. I have been so exhausted since Lorraine and since our coffee moaning uh, and podcast, we've got to record our podcast. I just thought to wake myself up, I'm gonna do a workout. God forbid that I should stop for five minutes and relax. So, cup of tea, workout, podcast. There he is. Apparently Joe Wicks was on YouTube today talking about his mental health. Maybe want to stroke his hair. Right, Mark, show me your muscles. And, and... You go. Oh, you've got big muscles. Oh, yeah. Show me them. Well done. Those are very Stop. big muscles. <laughs> very well done. Do you like my new phone case, girls? <laughs> Isn't it cool? I love it. Now, what has happened here? How has this become this? How do I bet if there was any way I could fit a mug into here? Let's see. Oh my God, maybe I can. Oh no, I can't. God almighty. It's just getting crazy. Now we know why all the tea tastes of cumin, Mark. Because it's cumin in the mugs. <laughs> Nutcase, what are you doing? That's silly, you're gonna hurt yourself. Mark, don't mark. <laughs> Stop eating. Okay, guys, so we often talk about the fact that when I come up to bed, I feel like I've been usurped. I feel like there's three people in this marriage. I feel like a spare prick at a party. She's listening to John Campbell yet again. The other night I came in, it was blaring so loud into her face. What happened to digital detox? It's not even responding to me. It's not even responding to me. She's got a food mag, she's got John Campbell. Why does she need me? I thought we were more likely to win the lottery or something. Heart disease is most likely to be stroke. This is just our bedtime chat. This is it, this is what it's become. So another day in the madhouse. We've done a podcast in the other room, Confessions of a Modern Parent. We've done coffee moaning with much hilarity. There's Nadia in the background laughing at my trousers because I looked incinerated in the bathroom. They were just trousers with no one left in them. And right now, I would like to do nothing more than... Sim oh, we're about, to, we're about to do a How to Stay Married... I was just about to say what I'd like to do. I I tell you exactly what I'd like to do. I want to get in the car and without any circumstance, just head into town and walk. That's all I want to do. I want to be free to do what I want to do, to quote Primal Scream. I want to get loaded and I want to have a good time. Why don't you just do that? Let's do it. Wake up. Let's get into town. We need to shake it up. We need to mix it up. We need to get out. I'm not even joking. So are we just knocking a whole How to Stay Married on the head? Yeah. Jesus, that's just the way we, we, go out, the way we roll. Lunch, we're going to come back, I'm going to do it there. Let's just get out of here. We've already done as much work as most people do in a whole We've been day. working for six hours. Yeah, I got up at half past six this morning to do my workout. Yeah. We've done, we've done, we've done. I've been to the moon and back, as you probably saw from the done? photograph of my trousers that Nadia is now going to give me and I'm going to put here. We're going to go out. We're going to have a load. We're going to get loaded. We're going to have a good time. I'm going to call my mum. Mum! Mum? Ma? Ma? Nana. 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 Show us your tits. Good. Rainbow chest. Gold at the end now. of the rainbow. Uh, okay. So yeah, so there we go. And That's today what we're, gonna do. we're gonna go into town. Life's too short. We're just gonna go Life into is town. Too short for going to go into to town. Do we're gonna do it. We're just gonna do, do it. it. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna put some socks on even. Chi chi. 
Are you okay? Oh dear, that's a lovely set. She's being so cute today. Oh what? What? Oh my God, what? I, feel, I feel like a kid. You it's know, on one of our lives recently, we were talking to the gardener of someone famous. Bernard Cribbins. Yes, yes. And I, we said how much we are huge fans of Bernard Cribbins. We got a card from Bernard No! Cribbins. It says to Mark Nedge and family, best wishes, Bernard Cribbins. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at him. We've got to frame it. Oh, oh God, what was the name of our follower that, that God, did it's the him? gardener, the gardener. What the gardener, your what's your name? What's oh. your name? If anyone knows who the gardener Tell is, she's the sub of a... Tell oh, us that name. Contact us on Instagram. Thing. Oh my God. I f feel six. I feel seven. And you got a play Ta right Ty feel, Ty feel seven. Ty feel and four. Feel, and she feels four. I feel four and I've gone like this. I got <laughs> Oh, what a lovely thing to do. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. That's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Aww. I'm walking ineluctably towards the entrance to the National, believing I can get in. No, you can. No, look over there, climate positive burgers. See that climate positive burger? What is a climate positive burger? Must be a vegan burger. Turn it round. Oh, yeah. It's normally be heaving here. I'll show you the river, guys. The grey. Furious with all the yes. runners yes. who've come out for their lunch break from the offices. Yes. Wouldn't have been able to get more than There's no way. No. Would have queued for ages for a coffee. Look at the sky. Look, completely, oh yes, deserted, just a broken board, what the hell? Now I'm popping into Sainsbury's for the weekend and I, it's very early, it's about 8 o'clock. And uh, I'm fully expecting it to be, we, us to be in a sort of panic buying mode. So I'm going to go to the pesto section, the pasta section, and the coffee section. And I'm going to see whether panic buyers get to, oh, and the toilet roll section. We need toilet rolls. Shit, we need toilet rolls. So I've got back from the supermarket and they did have pesto and they did have toilet roll. And they did have it in that order. So I'm now gonna, we're now going to take the girl, I'm going to take the girls up to town. We're going to go to the white cube. We're going to meet up with Nanny, Nanny Dye. I got them Fanta, no. Tango Tropical. Don't tell Nads. Sugar Freak. She'll Freak. She'll Freak. No, it's Sugar Freak. Oh, it's Sugar Freak. I thought she said She'll Freak. And look. Bag of Sultanas. <laughs> Two of them I got. See in a bit, Cheech, with the nanny die. Yeah? I can't look at you because you can't see. She can't see. She keeps walking into things. Oh. Meanwhile, Toffington. See it. What? She wags the tail so much her bum slides. Yeah. It's the way she sits on her side a bit. She, oh. <laughs> she miscued that. <laughs> oh, she bashed it. Oh, she's just What do they want? Oh, she's very cute. Oh, have you banged your nose? <laughs> Yeah, but she missed, she missed Kiki's leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I got the effing times wrong, didn't I? So unlike me. And the frustration with this Which COVID like I never do. And in this COVID landscape, if you make a mistake, there's no room for wriggle room because everything, every slot's taken. So I've just been phoning whilst driving, hands free. And now we're getting there, and now I'm worried that we've only got half an hour, in fact, 20 minutes, 
it's all right, it's not a big one. It's not a big exhibition, you're right, Maddie, you're absolutely right. But what if they don't let you in after the half hour point? That's the point that I'm worried about. <laughs> so, for coffees over there. I'm gonna go in there afterwards, I'm gonna have a great big fat quadruple double espresso. Yeah! Do you like my beard bag? Beard bag. Uh, I've made a huge boo-boo. Apparently on the website, I only booked one person. So now what we're having to do is, because we're one household, is Maddie's going in for 10 and then Kiki's going in for 10 and I'm not going in at all. So I'm falling on my artistic sword. I'll take photos. She's gonna take photos with me and my camera. me saying she's got neck ache and headache. I don't know what that means. She might have COVID. I don't know if she feels she might have COVID. I know, look, we've got plastic barriers in there. So guys, we were supposed to be meeting Nanny Di. We've just been in. It was a very curious exhibition. You'll see some of the photos and some of the bits and bobs. Very odd. Kind of liked it in a weird way. I liked it. Yeah. I preferred the, the one before this. Uh, yeah, I did too. Glass. glass one. But Nanny Di's just contacted saying she can't leave she her flat. She's bailed on us. She's bailed on us saying her painkillers aren't helping with her neck, neck and back. And because the traffic is so diabolical on her side of London, it's not that easy for us to go and get her. So she might be coming tomorrow. So, Nanny Di, what's going on? It's proving so difficult just to get you to travel the shortest of distances. I feel your world is limiting, Mum. Back of the house, haven't been to the gallery. I'm a bit worried about Nanny Di. What do you think, subs? Nanny Di, are you watching? I'm just worried that COVID has limited so many of our horizons that not that my mum is embracing being older than she is because she's 70 and she's got bad knees and she's got new knees and all that sort of stuff. But I just worry that the incremental shift that happens within us all as we get older of just slightly limiting our horizons. I saw it happen to Nanny Thelma. What do I do, subs, when I desperately don't want my mum to get old? But I wanna do things that help her, but that don't stress her out. That keep encouraging her to move and keep fit and reach beyond the sort of easier options. In a time when very little can be done beyond walking around the block or going to the park. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to reach out really. I'm a little bit concerned, a little bit worried. I mean, she's okay, she's been texting and I'm saying, you know, maybe come tomorrow and, you know, and if there, cause there's such a horrendous traffic situation around hers that trying to get to her is difficult. So anyway, I just feel a bit, just get a bit worried. Um, I'm just getting a text from Nat, one sec. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, just, you know, just get that. This is how 
things, this is how creep creeps in, isn't it? Creeps in. I'm a big believer that, you know, or I'm a big advocate that we need to be, have our wits about us so that when creep in all areas of life starts to happen, we try and knock it on the head or intercept it, or even if it's for a very good reason that we acknowledge it and we recognize that there's a valid reason and we may be trying to adjust something else in our lives. You know, creep can creep into taking each other for granted in relationships, uh, getting up a bit later, not taking exercise, not eating perhaps as healthily as you should or could, not challenging yourself to maybe read a bit more or, you know, watch a bit more or watch a bit less or um, work a bit differently or, do you know what I mean? Or be kinder or reach out to people. You know, creep can happen in so many areas of your life. It's like with the dogs. I can see over time that Chi Chi leaps up when she sees a squirrel. And as time goes by, each time she leaps, she's a bit slower. So you've got to recognize that Nanny Dai is getting older. I'm getting older. We're all getting older. You're going to see us get old. You might see some of us die. That's dark, isn't it? But how does one intercept that, prevent it, support it where one needs to, but at the same time, make sure that one doesn't acquiesce and fall foul of it or give in to it or allow it to overwhelm us so that, as I say, our horizons become more limited. It's hard, isn't it? That's the sort of dichotomy of later life, isn't it? How to keep living fully whilst this, the vehicle, the vehicle of our souls, our body, our life, starts to kind of tell us it can't do as much as it used to. Tricky.